Okay. Yeah, after my br brother so rudely interrupted me and turned off all the lights. Yeah. Okay. So, as I was saying before I was interrupted, of course you didn't hear the first part because I had to restart it. I think some people are just very dense and are just hearing what they want to hear and are not actually hearing what I'm saying. What I am trying to say is not that I want a patriarchy or that I want a matriarchy or that one is better than the other. What I'm saying is that what we have right now is not a matriarchy, okay? If a patriarchy can have women in it that support the system, that keep the system fr thriving, I mean... It's a patriarchy because the women have submitted to the patriarchy. That is why <laughs> it's it exists. Okay? But a matriarchy implies that the women have power, have control in the decision making. Do the women have that? No. It is still a patriarchy. Okay? Not just that. Matriarchy does imply power, but a matriarchy should have the men supporting the women as well. This matriarchy going on in the black community doesn't have that. And I would not say it. it's a matriarchy. I would say it's acephalous. It's a headless state. Nobody is controlling anything. Nobody is taking any kind of responsibility or accountability, so how can you call this a matriarchy? The, the only reason why people have chosen to label it a matriarchy is because mass media has called it a matriarchy. But looking at it, no, I would say it's an acephalous society. Okay. So yeah. I'm not asking for a matriarchy. I'm not asking for a patriarchy. What I want is a partnership. It would be the most efficient if both sexes work together as one unit. Okay? I mean, if you look at it, feminine and masculine, they're two parts to a whole. Okay? Now, think about where we would be if America had more feminine attributes, if we could be more compassionate, I don't think we would have all this corporate control and people dying at the expense just simply for profit. I do not think that would happen. Right now, the corporation is a patriarchy. And as you can see, Americans, that is part of the problem. You have no health care. Or no universal health care. Why? Because they want to make money off of you being sick. The FDA, the things it lets slide because corporations have so much power, like the injection of bovine growth hormone that is making its way into your milk, Things like this shouldn't be going on, but it's happening under a patriarchy. There are problems with a patriarchy. Why is it that we're so afraid of the feminine? We're afraid of women. We're afraid of gays. We're afraid of anything that remotely is feminine because it's seen as weak. And I, I, I just can't understand that. In order to be the most efficient we should, we could be, we should utilize all the resources we have. Now, just because a woman is a leader, like, say she's more empathetic, doesn't mean she can't fight. And even if she isn't the strongest fighter, then so be it. Let men go out and fight. If they're better at doing it, then let them do that. But if they're women who are qualified to do it, just as qualified to do it, then let them do it too. There shouldn't be this prejudice. And even if they have the same qualifications, we shouldn't be paying one more than the other. It's not fair. What happens is the feminization of poverty that has been going on. With everything else held constant, women make less than men for the same job. Now, if you look at 
the black community right now, if you're saying it's a matriarchy, how is that matriarchy going to survive at such a disadvantage if the people in power don't have the means to support itself? We have a whole bunch of households with single mothers who are making less than their male counterparts and are below the poverty line, even though those men are not making much to stay above the poverty line to begin with. So if you're below the poverty line, how are you going to take care of your two or three kids? That's, that's what I don't understand. That's why we need to get the men back into the households until things change on a grander scale and we fix the bigger patriarchy. Now, if men are complaining if they're so anti-matriarchy, why don't you work together to fix it? The perfect family network should have the man and the woman as partners. Now, you can talk about gender roles all you like, like, oh, she does the cooking and the cleaning and the child rearing and I'll do the work, but at least that's some kind of partnership. That's how you feel you are utilizing the resources that are given to you. But with role convergence, I would, me personally, like if my husband wants to sit at home and take care of the kids while I work, I, I wouldn't be angry. I wouldn't think he's effeminate for wanting to do so. But that, that's all I'm saying. Why can't we use the resources that each gender provides. Why do you have to put a value on somebody else's contribution? Like for the... Like if your mother cooks for you, cleans for you, loves you, disciplines you, teaches you, can you put a monetary value on that? Is your dad more value simply because he works? and he brings home the food and then does nothing from that point on if he doesn't interact with you? Le Just because th this person is making money and in our s s social construct, money has value, why is it the labor of women is not on the same playing field? And not just women, there's men who are stay-at-home dads. Why is that why is that of different value? Why does society view that differently? And then the guys who complain like, well I feel emasculated when she makes more than I do. Why do you define yourself around the social construct of money as being the only means of value? You can offer more to a person than just money. And I hate being called a feminist because I'm defending women. I'm not going out there promoting some kind of agenda and attacking men. I'm just defending women. Because, and I'm speaking to, to the black people. Okay, like, just like you will go out there and defend black people, even if we're acting a fool, if somebody says something, that doesn't take away the sting of the words, because you're a part of that group. It's the same thing as if you're a woman and somebody attacks women. It's going to affect you. So... That, that's all I'm saying. I'm not going out there saying I hate men and I'm some kind of lesbian and that we should get rid of all the men in the world and... No. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is we should be united, both genders, to work together. There's no way we can advance our goals as black people if we're divided, there's no way we can advance our goals as the human race if we're divided. And that is part of the problem.